Hello and welcome to my lecture on biostatistics, part one. So I'm going to talk about what it means to say when something is true or false or positive or negative. So the truth is dictated by a gold standard test. So the gold standard test is tried and tested. And something is true if it agrees with the gold standard test. If something is true according to a certain test, and it's also true, it's also positive according to the gold standard, then it is true. If something is negative via a certain new diagnostic test, and it's also negative from the gold standard, then it is truly negative. So again, whether something is positive or negative is dictated by the test in question. So if you have something that is positive from the testing question but negative from the gold standard it'll be a false positive and if you have something that's negative from the testing question and positive by the gold standard it's a false negative negative. and we're gonna go through this slowly again so if you have trouble keeping up um, you'll have your questions answered. So let's try this out. Let's say we have a test A. In the following examples, let's figure out how we would group these data. Positive from test A, but also positive via gold standard. So both are positive. We got a positive from test A and a positive from the gold standard. These two agree, they're not opposites. So it's a true, but it's a true what? It's a true positive because we got the positive from test A. Number two, positive via gold standard, negative from test A. So positive and negative, do those agree? No, they don't. So we got a false, but a false what? We got a false negative because it was negative from the testing question or test A. Number three, negative from gold standard, positive from test A. So negative and positive don't agree. And so it is false. But it's a false what? It's a false positive because it was positive from test A, the test that we have in question. Number four, it is negative from a gold standard and negative from test A. So we got two negatives, and those, so that means it's an agreement, so it's a true, but it's a true what? It's a true negative, because from test A, the test in question, it's negative. So an easier method to make your life even easier is just call out the data points that are positive for both test A and the gold standard. So those are all going to be true. Also, the negative from the test A and the gold standard, they're also going to be true. So that makes it easier. You know that those are trues. Whether they're positive or negative, you have to look. So as to go on to sensitivity and specificity, if you are a sensitive person, you're going to pick up on all things real and maybe some things imagined. But you know whatever you didn't pick isn't what you're looking for because you are so vast in what you picked up that you picked up everything that was true and some things that were imaginary. So you can really rule out what you didn't pick because what you didn't pick is not going to be what you wanted. But if you're very picky or specific, you know what you want. You may leave some stuff behind, but you know what you have is the real deal. And many biostatistics review books, you have an infamous 2x2 two two table filled out with A, B, C, D. And you just memorize those formulas and you don't need this video. But the problem is that the table of the everything you look at then needs to be configured the same way. The rows need to mean the same thing as the columns. And everything has to be pretty much exactly the same. But that doesn't always work out. But I want you to remember that sensitivity is true positives over the truth. Specificity is a true negatives over the fake. 
the truth is everything that's positive according to gold standard and the fake is everything that's negative according to the gold standard. On to the tables. Notice how if you, and look at this table because we have test A and on the top. So rows are test A positive or negative. Column is gold standard positive or negative. So on the top left hand cell, you have a true positive because it's positive for test A and it's also positive for the gold standard. In the first row, second column, we have a negative for test A and a positive for gold standard. And since the negative and the positive don't agree, it's a false, don't agree, it's a false, and it's a negative because you have a negative from the test A. For the second row, first column, you have a positive for test A, negative for gold standard. So since positive and negative are opposites, it's a false, and it's a positive because it's in the positives for test A. In the lower right hand corner, which is the second row, second column, you have a negative from test A and a negative from the gold standard, which is true because they're in agreement. However, it's a negative because it's a negative for test A. So notice how if you add the first row together, so the two columns of the first row together, you get the truth. The two positives plus the false negatives is the truth, or all the positives of the gold standard. And if you add the second row, which is the false positive plus the true negatives, you get all the negatives from the gold standards, or what I call the fake. And of course, adding the columns gives you what is positive or negative according to the test. So notice how if the table is flipped, you get different things for two of the cells. So memorizing the formula from a book doesn't help. You just need to know how to group things and how to notice patterns and how to categorize things on whether they agree between the gold standard and the testing question. And that is my concise explanation of positives, negatives, trues and falses, and specificity and sensitivity. So my part two is coming too, and I'd ask that you please subscribe to my channel.